the last days refer to the end of the age, the return of Jesus Yeshua to this earth and the establishment of his kingdom in Jerusalem. But the UN, the United Nations representing the nations of the world, declared Israel's rebirth in international catastrophe may very well be connected to the last days. Did you know that Jesus was Jewish? You might be asking, what does that mean for your Christian faith? Watch today and discover how understanding the Jewish roots of your faith and your connection to Israel and the Jewish people can transform your life and the way you read the Bible. Coming up on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice. I'm Jonathan Burnus and I'm joined once again by my co-host, Ezra Benjamin. One of the questions that I'm asked the most is, are we in the last days and what's happening that is fulfilling Bible prophecy? Well, these are difficult questions to answer. It's a complex scenario, but today we're going to be looking at some events that may well provide answers to these questions. Uh, Ezra, you know, we don't talk much about the last days compared to how much we used to talk about sure. the last days because uh, for the last 40 plus years since I've been a believer, mm -hmm. it was just around the corner. The return of Jesus was just around the corner. Sure. And of course there was the speculation on who the anti-Christ was. And yeah, there's been these, a lot of speculation. And, 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 and the, the near return of the Messiah. Right. And the, the years keep rolling on and these predictions have been wrong repeatedly. Sure. But one thing is clear, we are in a period that is uh, resembling, uh, or I think fits the biblical description now of the last days. It talks about the times of Noah, growing violence. Mm -hmm. It talks that the Bible talks about political, economic, uh, social upheaval. There's so many different things that I'm seeing come into place now. Sure. And I'm not an expert on Bible prophecy by any means, right. but I'm looking at the signs of the times and uh, well, one thing we know, the fig trees blossomed. Exactly. Talk about that. Exactly, yeah. The context of what you just said is actually Jesus teaching his disciples about what to look for before his return or we can say before the last days. And the idea is, you know, there, we have to hold these two ideas in tension. On the, one, on the one hand, no one knows the day or the hour. The scriptures are very clear. If somebody says to you, you know, it's gonna be in the year 2037 on, you know, January 12th at 9.48 a.m. They're, they're always wrong. They're wrong because we don't know the day or the hour. But then Jesus says, as you were referring to Jonathan, just like when you see the fig tree put forth its leaves, you know you're entering the season that summer's right at the door, you're right there. And when you see these things happen, right? The rise of lawlessness and offense, right? The, the increased godlessness in society, the wars and rumors of wars, right? Earthquakes greater than what we've ever seen. When you see these things start to happen and increase, understand that you're right there. My return is very near, Yeshua is saying. And Jonathan, some of the things that uh, we're so focused on here at Jewish Voice, and we wanna talk about a little bit today, on this, on this program is specific signs of the last days, uh, the days before the return of Jesus, that have specifically to do with Israel and the Jewish people. And when we say Israel, we, we can talk about the land of Israel or the modern state of Israel and also the people of Israel wherever we're scattered uh, in Israel or in the nations. Well, let it, I wanna talk about s some specific things that maybe aren't so, so Ex they're exciting, but yeah. they're 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 kind of looming, mm -hmm. uh, negative uh, things that we're seeing in the news mm -hmm. that may very well be sure. fulfillments of the last days or moving us closer to that moment. Right. right. But l let's look at some good things first. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that God sovereignly restored Israel as a nation. Right. And we're we're at 75 years. That's so right. this we spring. have that's this spring. So we have that amazing mm -hmm. reality. Mm -hmm. The restoration of Jerusalem in 1967 was absolutely an end time event. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus says very clearly, you will not see me again weeping over Jerusalem until you say, mm -hmm. blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. That's He's right. talking about the Jewish people. They had to be back in not only the land, but 
in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and Jerusalem is once again the capital of Israel. Mm -hmm. We have uh, massive aliyah right. uh, movements to Israel, the land of the north, which is very specifically mentioned, mm -hmm. beginning in the late 1980s. Right. These are all great events. And then one that we've talked a bit about, may, maybe the clearest sign mm -hmm. is that the gospel will be proclaimed to every nation, to right. every ethnos. And of course, we understand that in the context here at Jewish Voice of Romans 1.16, that the gospel mm -hmm. is the power of God unto salvation to all he, who believe to the Jew first. Mm -hmm. But we've been talking about the translation of scripture sure. into every known language. And yeah. this is this is really a it, milestone. It is, you know. Piece of it, news it, and good news. Talk about that. Yeah, we're sharing the gospel, as you said, Romans 1.16. It says, power of God to salvation for all who believe, first to the Jew, and also to the Gentile, meaning those not from a Jewish heritage or background. And in our work of sharing the good news of Yeshua with Jewish communities and their neighbors around the world, we're partnered, Jonathan, with so many Bible translation organizations, partner ministries reaching all tribes, tongues, and nations. And believe it or not, there's general agreement. There's not a lot of agreement sometimes in these sort of things, but general agreement that by the year 2033, the Bible, at least the New Testament, the gospel accounts of Yeshua, of Jesus, will be available in written form in every language on the face of the earth, which means the gospel can be proclaimed and received by every people, tribe, tongue, and nation. What a milestone. So that's, those are some of the good things that right. are, are, are real anchors uh, and definitely connected to mm -hmm. the time preceding the return of mm -hmm. Jesus. The last days refer to the end of the age before the return of Jesus Yeshua to this earth and the establishment of his kingdom in Jerusalem. That's right. Physically. Now let's talk about some of the things we're seeing in the news front and center right. that aren't so encouraging, but may very well be connected to the last days. Sure. The UN. Yeah. Well, Just let's jump a right milestone in. So, event with the UN. As we said, this spring, weeks from now, marks the 75th anniversary of the rebirth of the state of Israel. In May of 1948, Israel becomes a nation again, and then immediately the homeland for the Jewish people to resettle. Jonathan, unfortunately, last December, the UN took a vote and by, by, by a ratio of three to one, the nations of the world voted to declare the rebirth of the state of Israel. In Arabic, the word is Nakba, and that means catastrophe. So we're celebrating the rebirth of the state, but the UN, the United Nations representing the nations of the world, don't believe me? Look it up on the internet. You'll find all the details there. Declared Israel's rebirth in international catastrophe. This may, okay, in a couple weeks, that Israel and Jewish people around the world and those who stand with her will be celebrating the nation's rebirth. The UN and two thirds of the nations of the world will be observing a day of mourning to mourn the catastrophe of the reestablishment of the Jewish state. We are really in the last days. I, <laughs> it's, it, it's shocking, but our hope is that Jesus is coming soon. Yeshua is coming soon. Amen. Uh, we're not gonna get through as much as we want to today. That's why we're making some resources available to you. A rabbi looks at the last days, a book I wrote uh, that is a completely different approach, I think, to the last days than you may have ever read before. Uh, give you, it'll give you some new insights on Israel, the end times, and popular misconceptions. And there's lots of misconceptions. Also, the role of Israel in the last days, a CD teaching that will uh, also help you understand uh, the times we live in. Uh, we need your monthly support. That's what we really want to encourage you to uh, sign up for, to become a Shalom partner. You're, you'll be an ambassador of peace. Shalom means peace. It also means completion. And we exist as a ministry to bring Jewish people and their neighbors into a transforming completion uh, yeah. of their purpose, to know Him, to have a relationship with God. Uh, in honor of Israel's 75th birthday, Ezra, we're offering this beautiful book to those who will become Shalom Partners. 
Israel Rising. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, Jonathan. It's beautiful. It shows pictures from 70 or so years ago of, of all sorts of places, dozens, a hundred or so places in Israel, and then a picture taken in the last couple of years. So you can truly see the rebirth and the growth of the Jewish state, of the modern state of Israel. I love it, and really there's, nothing, an awesome there's nothing like it out there. Right. This is really, this will really encourage you. Yeah. One clear sign, Israel is back in the land. Amen. The Jewish people are back in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Before and now, it's really, really great uh, uh, resource and a, gr a great keepsake. So we want to get that out to you. Don't wait. Pick up the phone, log on to our website, become a Shalom partner today, and be a blessing to the Jewish people by sharing their Messiah through this ministry. Become a Shalom partner. Here's how. These days of political, economic, and social upheaval align with biblical prophecy. And by staying informed, you become part of the fulfillment of that prophecy. For your gift of $40 or more, Jonathan will send you his book, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, which will help you interpret the signs and wisely refute common misconceptions. Along with the book, We'll include two complete audio CDs that reveal the role of Israel in last day's prophecy. New Shalom Partners will receive Jonathan's book and those CDs, plus the beautiful and inspiring hardcover book that visually documents the worlds of Ezekiel and other prophets. Israel Rising is a labor of love. Inspired by rarely seen photos taken between the 1880s and the 1940s, a world-class photographer recently traveled on foot and by helicopter to capture new images of villages, beaches, hills, and cities all across Israel. Page after page of juxtaposed photographs, old and new, along with enlightening exposition, document the awakening of the land and the people. To say thank you for your commitment of $30 a month, We'll send all three resources, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, Jonathan's audio teaching on the role of Israel in last days prophecy, and the coffee table book, Israel Rising. Your generous gift reaffirms your own heartfelt desire to celebrate the rebirth of Israel and help change lives around the world in this landmark year of 2023. This year we celebrate the 75th Independence Day of the regathered nation of Israel. The return of Israel to their land testifies of how good and faithful God is and also demonstrates that God's promises are unshakable throughout the century, both for the Jewish people and the world through sending Jesus the Messiah as our salvation. You know, Jesus himself said that he came to seek and save that which was lost and God's desire is to see all Jewish people come back to him. So if you want to bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice today. Come alongside Jewish Voice and thousands of other faithful believers and become a Shalom partner for $30 a month. Call this toll-free number or mail your most generous gift to the address on the screen. If you prefer, you can give securely online at jewishvoice.tv or scan the QR code. Your gift will be part of a celebration of God's faithfulness. Thank you. Welcome back to our discussion on current events and how they play into what we call the last days. And uh, Ezra, we don't know the time, we don't know the exact time right. or the hour, but we know the season and we are in the season. And we were talking about uh, th this, this terrible decision in the UN to right. actually acknowledge Nakba the rebirth of the Nakba. Yeah, Nakba, uh, that this is a catastrophe. Right. When in fact, this is the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Exactly, and think about the godlessness. You know, this is, this is case in point of society headed towards shaking our fist at God and saying, you won't rule over us. That a thing that's prophesied, can a nation be born in a day? The prophet said, and the answer is yes, the modern na nation of Israel was born in a day. So this prophetic rebirth to be celebrated as a, as a testimony to the faithfulness of God is now being labeled three to one 
by the nations of the world as an international catastrophe, as a day yeah. of mourning. And it's shaking a fist at God, it really is, yeah. who decreed, I will bring you back. I will restore your land, yeah. the land that is, has been promised to Abraham as an eternal possession, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right. and I will reestablish your uh, capital as Jerusalem. Right. It, 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 shaking the fist at God, it's a, clearly a sign that we're in the last of the last days. Let, let's look at another one. The Russian invasion of Ukraine, the sure. Ukraine Just war, last year. Uh, which has some real ramifications that we're seeing now. Yeah, it does. And this one, I mean, n not the Russian invasion, but what we're about to talk about it has, has a good side and a bad side. What do I mean by that? The, go the good thing is the Aliyah, or the, the resettlement in Israel of Jewish people who have been scattered among the nations for centuries, even millennia. So the word Aliyah, Jonathan, in Hebrew means literally to go up. And the idea was you're going up to Jerusalem. You're going back up to the land of Israel. Aliyah is biblically promised. You know, we see in Isaiah, we'll say to the north, south, east, and west, give them up. Don't hold them back. God will be found faithful to regather the outcasts and the exiles right. of Israel. That's good. What's not good is that the way we see that happening so urgently these days, as you said, Russia, even Ukraine, other areas in Central and Eastern Europe, is that it's happening under duress that Jewish people, men, women, and children, are, are immigrating to Israel because they have nowhere else to go. They're now living in war zones. Or, in the case of Russia, they're being threatened by increasing anti-Semitism and don't feel safe yeah, anymore. Yeah, let's back up just a little bit. So we have a, a new wave yeah. of immigration to Israel from both Ukraine and Russia. Right. The highest numbers we've seen in years. In decades, yeah. Decades. Uh, that's in a sense a good thing, but we're talking about Ukrainians that are fleeing for their lives. Their homes have sure. been destroyed. They've lost family members, right. and they're now destitute. Right. So Israel is taking them in in great numbers and doing a great job. Mm -hmm. But what I think is this looming, uh, uh, frightening reality, the head rabbi of Russia, mm -hmm. and he's been there for over 30 years, mm -hmm has now left. I think, he, I think he moved there in 1988 or 1989. Moved to Russia, yeah. He left Russia and he's warned the Jewish community, leave now. While you still can. While you still can. Is what he can. said, leave while you can. And, and so Russian Jews are fleeing Russia now for their lives because they're in fear for their lives. The, the uh, Russian government has tried to eradicate the Jewish Agency, which they, is the they organization did, in, fact, in July of last year. There's still a court thing going on, but uh, it's yeah. all but done, right. really. Right. Uh, they have determined that the Jewish Agency, the organization that actually is responsible for Jews immigrating to Israel, is no longer welcome in Russia. Right. This signals, this is a demarcation right. point. Get out while you still can. And maybe you're listening to this and you're thinking, this sounds like 70 years ago, 75 years ago in Europe. Get out while you still can. And we say, could that sort of thing happen again? Jonathan, unfortunately, we see in the scriptures about the last days that there will be widespread persecution of Jewish peoples, both those living in the land of Israel in the city of Jerusalem, but also Jewish people scattered among the nations. That because the enemy knows that when the Jewish people cry out, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord from Jerusalem, Satan's trying to do two things. He's trying to do a number of things, but the two we're talking about are uh, destroy the city of Jerusalem, wipe it off the face of the map, and eradicate the Jewish people. And we see that happening unfortunately, in some of the major nations of the world. It's just, it's beginning to feel like we're in a, in a, a, a approaching a new uh, level of anti-Semitism. It's, it's not feeling, it's happening. Sure. And when you hear, get out while you still can, you immediately think of the Holocaust yeah. and, a, and a repeat of what happened, uh, you know, 70, 80 years ago. Right. We're seeing this in Russia, we're seeing it in, in Ukraine. And this has been brought on by the invasion of Ukraine. So this may very well play into the last days. I personally believe it does. Uh, Jews fleeing for their lives uh, and finding refuge in Israel. Yeah. And then Israel under attack. But there's a third one too that uh, I think is, is very troubling for us. And that's the rise of anti-Semitism 
here in the United States yeah, and, and certainly in Western Europe right. as well. In the United States, in other prominent nations in South America, you know, during the pandemic, when it started a couple of years ago, a few years ago, the economic turmoil, the uncertainty, the fear, all of a sudden, the numbers for anti-Semitism start skyrocketing. And we see that pattern, Jonathan, not just with the pandemic, not just with the war in Russia, but throughout history, whenever there's widespread fear, turmoil, hardship, all of a sudden, the Jewish community becomes the focal point. The, Jewish, the Jews somehow must be responsible yeah, for this. And what, what's particularly troubling is that those that identify as evangelical Christians hmm. are also promulgating anti-Semitism or certainly anti-Semitic views and it's, there, it's, it's spreading very, very quickly. So this is very troubling and should be very troubling to those of you who are watching who love Israel and the Jewish people. Jonathan, maybe our audience is watching and saying, I, I love the Jewish people. Me and my church, we don't stand for anti-Semitism. We don't tolerate that. We want to be a blessing to Israel and the Jewish people, the state of Israel, Jewish people, wherever they are. But you're asking how to do that. And we want to invite you today. A very practical way to do that is to become a monthly Shalom partner with Jewish Voice Ministries. Jonathan, we're month by month, year after year, standing with over 80 partner congregations and para-congregational even helps and mercy ministries south to north, east to west, across the modern state of Israel who are reaching Israelis, Jewish and Arab, with the good news of Yeshua. Yeah, we're helping single mothers, we're helping drug addicts, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. And, and that's where your support will be going. It's, it's a great opportunity right. to bless the Jewish people. Right, we have a thank you gift uh, to say thanks so much for becoming a monthly partner today, a Shalom partner. This book is Israel Rising. This is, my wife is from Israel and this is one of our favorite books because it shows you, you can see on the cover here, pictures taken from different places, dozens of places all over the land of Israel, right before the birth of the modern state and then pictures taken in the last few years. So you can see not only is Israel reborn, it's growing, it's on the rise, and it's the work of the Lord. It's a really substantial work, a great co coffee table book, yeah. and you'll rejoice at what the Lord has done uh, in restoring the land of Israel. Also a book I wrote, a rabbi looks at the last days. I think this may be completely different, a completely different approach than anything you've ever read before, a CD, The Role of Israel in the Last Days Prophecy. We want to help you understand the season and we want you to get involved in this ministry. The time is short. So pick up the phone and call, log on to our website and become a Shalom partner today. Here's how. These days of political, economic and social upheaval align with biblical prophecy. And by staying informed, you become part of the fulfillment of that prophecy. For your gift of $40 or more, Jonathan will send you his book, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days which will help you interpret the signs and wisely refute common misconceptions. Along with the book, we'll include two complete audio CDs that reveal the role of Israel in last day's prophecy. New Shalom Partners will receive Jonathan's book and those CDs, plus the beautiful and inspiring hardcover book that visually documents the worlds of Ezekiel and other prophets. Israel Rising is a labor of love. Inspired by rarely seen photos taken between the 1880s and the 1940s, a world-class photographer recently traveled on foot and by helicopter to capture new images of villages, beaches, hills, and cities all across Israel. Page after page of juxtaposed photographs, old and new, along with enlightening exposition, document the awakening of the land and the people to say thank you for your commitment of $30 a month. We'll send all three resources, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, Jonathan's audio teaching on the role of Israel in last days prophecy, and the coffee table book, Israel Rising. Your generous gift reaffirms your own heartfelt desire to celebrate the rebirth of Israel and help change lives around the world in this landmark year of 2023. This year we celebrate the 75th Independence Day of the regathered nation of Israel. 
The return of Israel to their land testifies of how good and faithful God is and also demonstrates that God's promises are unshakable throughout the century, both for the Jewish people and the world through sending Jesus the Messiah as our salvation. You know, Jesus himself said that he came to seek and save that which was lost, and God's desire is to see all Jewish people come back to him. So if you want to bless the Jewish people, bless them by becoming a monthly partner with Jewish Voice today. Come alongside Jewish Voice and thousands of other faithful believers and become a Shalom partner for $30 a month. Call this toll-free number or mail your most generous gift to the address on the screen. If you prefer, you can give securely online at jewishvoice.tv or scan the QR code. Your gift will be part of a celebration of God's faithfulness. Thank you. I have no doubt that we are truly in the last days. I don't know the day or the hour, but the time is near. Until that moment, though, we're to occupy until he comes and we're to do it in victory. We serve a God who hears and answers prayer. And as we're going to take a moment first to pray for everyone that's watching, but also to finish by praying for Israel, to, yeah. for the salvation of Israel, uh, for God to touch the land and the people. Uh, both in, in Israel and scattered in the nations. Absolutely. So let's agree together. Would you just join with me in prayer and we'll just reach out in faith together where two or three agree on earth is touching anything, it shall be done. Amen. And so Lord, thank you that although we live in turbulent times, your grace is greater. Thank you when the enemy comes in like a flood, you raise up a standard against the enemy. Amen. We speak to families and we say be restored. We speak to bodies and say be healed. We speak to financial needs and we say they are met in the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We yeah. pray for the salvation of the Jewish people, both in the land of Israel and scattered in the nations of the world. Lord, I pray that you would help us all watching and listening to be a blessing to the Jewish people yeah. and to see your plan of redemption come to Israel and the nations in Jesus' name, in Jesus Yeshua's name. name, amen. Amen. And amen. If you'd like more information about our ministry, you can log on to jewishvoice.tv. You can also send us your prayer request right on the website. We have a team here at Jewish Voice that's committed to reading your prayer requests and praying for you by name because we believe in the power of prayer and we care about you, but more importantly, God cares about you. As we close our program today, I wanna to remind you to keep doing what we just did. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122, six exhorts us, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love thee. Until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus along with Ezra Benjamin saying Shalom and God bless you. This year is Israel's 75th Independence Day. Join us in celebrating by participating in our third annual Bless Israel Virtual 5K during the week of April 24th to the 30th. You'll be virtually coming alongside our Israel Partner Ministries and bringing awareness to God's unchanging love for Israel, which is especially important these days as we see anti-Semitism and anti-Israel bias growing. Join us in celebrating Israel's 75th anniversary by participating in our 5K. Register now at jewishvoice.org backslash bless Israel. Hi, my name is Ezra Benjamin and I'm the Vice President of Global Ministry Affairs here at Jewish Voice. I'm glad you visited our site today and before you close this video, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for coming to learn more about what we do. However you got here today, an ad, a search, maybe even a prompting from the Lord, Thanks for responding.